Hi guys, have you ever thought that Gmail username and password is working for uh, different applications like YouTube, Google Drive and uh, you know, so some other applications from Google and how is it happening? So yes, it is happening due to the directory services offered by uh, different tools and so usually the directory services can be called as a centralized user database which can be used to integrate with different applications so where you can have a single username and password and different applications can use that particular uh, integration with the directory services and they can start authenticating using that so so popular of them which provide such services are microsoft exchange uh, which provides a um, you know uh, so the best uh, directory services from pretty long time and after that you have an open and app and even you have IBM from IBM, IBM Tivoli directory server and even Oracle has Oracle Identity Manager and you have few, so few more even. But even if you think about IBM Tivoli and Oracle Identity Manager, so they're even backed up with the customized version of OpenLDAP. And if you look for the alternative to Microsoft Exchange, the, definitely the OpenLDAP is the you know, widely used one. So today's class, we're going to talk about how do we install OpenLDAP on CentOS or Red Hat operating system. So myself is Raghu from Linux Automation and in this today's video, so we're going to talk about, so how do we install OpenLDAP server in CentOS and our Linux operating, our Red Hat Linux operating system. But here, uh, I just don't want to go and, uh, you know, so show you the each and every manual step. So here I have written a simple shell script and I have seen like most of the people have been uh, struggling on how to do the installation part and yeah, so or how to configure it so most of the people i have seen is facing the difficulty in that phase so that is the reason i just written a small shell script and anyhow i'm going to provide the shell script location inside inside the, the video description you can just go ahead and uh, you can you can download and use it and modify it as per your requirement and other thing, so here I just want to use, um, you know, so CentOS operating system as I mentioned. So the version I'm picking up is the latest version, so which is uh, 7.4. So let's go and try to um, install our OpenLDAP with the script which I have written. So I'm downloading the script using a wget command. So let it download, and I'm going to run the shell script, and it just installs. The required packages as well as the required configuration even and even if you are curious actually so you can open this particular url on the browser and you will understand so what is the shell script we have we are trying to use here and of course it asks for the password so which is a manager password which is required for your ldap and here i'm providing the password as passwords that the only thing you have to take care while uh, using this particular one and here i have been hard coded the uh, domain details actually so inside my some of the files which my script is using so in case if you want to um, use your own domain just go ahead and modify them and you can use as per your requirement so my ldap server is ready and uh, i can start using it but using ldap uh, as a beginner on the command line is going to be a little confusing so that's the reason i just go ahead and uh, and just went went ahead and install one of the tool which is available to manage your ldap server over graphical so which is nothing but ldap account manager so here is the one ldap account manager so which is a, a php based tool and uh, this is the tool which we are trying to use for today's class and with the script is going to install that particular tool automatically and uh, that particular tool is available on the web browser so i'm going to take the server ip address i'm going to give enter so by default it's going to give me the test web page so from centos so what happened i believe i'm not providing the correct ip address yes i'm not providing the correct ip address give me a second so let me pull the correct IP address of the server. So which is, yeah. So this is the IP address of the server. So which you are getting a ten, test web page from CentOS. And now I just want to get my LDAP account manager. So I just put a shortcut like LAMP. So it is nothing but a web-based one, right? So I just installed a web server and kept the content under www.html. And there I have created a directory 
lamb so which is a short name to ldap account manager i'm using and you know so this is the dashboard and here it is asking for the password which is the password you have to provide which you entered while running the script and you hit enter so this is going to be the dashboard of your ldap and here you can see that so this dashboard doesn't uh, is showing the current users which you have in the system and you don't have any um, you know uh, any users right now and even uh, if you are curious about you know so see the complete directory structure of this particular panel app on the on the above you have a tree option so tree view you can just click on that and you can see the view but right now i just want to go ahead and create a user but before creating a user you need to add a group <clears throat> otherwise it will not allow you to do that so if you just click on new user and of course it is telling you no in its groups found in LDAP and hence it is unable to do anything. So of course I need to go with a group and I just want and I want to create a couple of groups here. The group name is going to be I want to give admins and so simply save and I just want to go for create another group and here I just want to give it like you know some sales or something sales group or something. So and save. So I have two groups now. I can just go ahead and create the users in whatever the group I want. I want to create a user, and the username is assuming his name is uh, John, and last name is Smith. And you don't need to provide every detail. In in case if you want, you can do that. But here the only mandatory option is last name. And here I'm using it. Okay, so I can use it for Unix credentials also. I can just click on Unix, and automatically it is picking the username as J Smith. And here is the two groups actually whatever you have created it is going to show you like admins or sales in whichever you want you can go ahead and add so i want to put john as admin and i want to set a password also to this user so the password is also a, a password option like password is password i'm giving so just for uh, testing purpose i'm using it and just click on save and create another user so here um, uh, i just want to give something like um, Steve something like last name and I'll go for the same Unix and but I want to add this particular user under uh, you know, uh, sales group I also want to set the password the password I would like to keep it as uh, password as uh, password only and click on OK and save so now these two users are uh, used and uh, are created and you can use these particular users inside any of the application you want. Now here to, to test out whether my LDAP is really working or not, uh, I can go ahead and you know integrate my LDAP service with one of the Linux server even and I can, I can test it out. So I have picked one more test machine, so which I don't have, let's say I, ID J Smith, I don't have any user J Smith. And now I want to add this particular uh, server into LDAP so then automatically those users will will be replicated onto the remote machine and they can log into those machines. Now I just want to check it out uh, here. Uh, so to integrate that again you just need to run one only one command but anyhow I have created a script for that also. I'm just going to run that particular script again here so which makes my job easy. So let me pull the script. Let me download the script. And of course, it asks for the uh, IP address of uh, my uh, LDAP server. So, and of course, it is even installing some couple of uh, client packages. So, which is NSS spam LDAP is one of the package which is required for a LDAP client. Now it asks for the IP address of the LDAP server. So you can give the IP address or provide the host name. So whichever you have in your environment. So I'm going to take the IP address as this. And I'm providing the IP address of that one. So now it is done. So now I can just go ahead and give like ID J Smith. Now you are able to see his ID J Smith. So he's a part of admins group. And along with that, I can pull the details of SGAND also. 
and you can log into those user and those users can log into this particular machine and the same way so you just provide the details of your uh, LDAP server into um, into your any of the applications you have out there and those applications can start using the uh, authentication services from your LDAP so hope you have enjoyed my video so please subscribe and like the channel and thank you very much so see you soon